Hey guys and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will walk through and talk about the PowerPack plugin for Elementor. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So the PowerPack plugin is a library of many widgets that will expand the functionality of Elementor and will add some cool features that the Elementor plugin doesn't have. So in order to start using the PowerPack, just go to plugins, add new, and install the light version of PowerPack. Once you activated it on your WordPress website, navigate to Elementor, PowerPack, and here you can see all the free widgets that come with it. In order to start using uh, those widgets, we'll go into the visual editor of Elementor, for example, our homepage. And here on the left side, we'll scroll down the sidebar. And in addition to the default widgets of Elementor, we can see a new section by PowerPack. And here are all the widgets that came with it. Now, everything that shows PP, it's PowerPack. And if it doesn't have the luck you can use it however if it does have the luck it's part of the a pro version which we'll get into later and as you can see there are many new widgets obviously i can't show you all of them but let me just choose one for now and the one i will choose it's image comparison which is a pretty cool feature that elementor doesn't have first let's drag it to the canvas on the right and here we have the same three tabs that elementor came with content, style, and advanced. So it's very, very similar to any other widget. Now this image comparison widget is used by, by many cosmetic websites to show what the client will look like after using a certain product. So they have two images, the before and after. In our example, I will just add two images of a WordPress user before and after he heard about plugins for WP. Uh, he was sad because he needed to spend a lot of money for plugins. That's the before image and the after image that he found out about us and he saved a lot of money and he's happy. So as you can see, we have two images and now we can uh, test it, move it left and right and see both situations before and after. Now, of course, we can adjust and change everything related to this plugin or to the widget specifically. For example, where we would like to uh, position the spine and uh, well, how we would like to trigger it right now it's by dragging we can do it uh, by mouse hovering and then the mouse hovering by itself will change it just like so and for example if you would like to change the colors of the spine or the divider just go into the style tab and here you can choose any color you want and the thickness and of course you can also change the style of the handle so this is just a quick example regarding one of their widgets. Of course, they have many more widgets that I recommend you to check. All right, so their cool widgets is not the only good thing about this plugin. Let's move on to the extensions tab and the free version comes with three different extensions. They are all enabled and let's start with the display condition. And this is very cool a feature that Elementor doesn't have and thanks to PowerPack we can use it. And this feature will allow us to display or hide a widget based on a precondition. So for example, let's drag this paragraph to uh, the canvas on the right and we'll create two links. One will be login and the other one will be log out. So let's start with the login first. We'll move on to the advanced tab and here we'll expand the PowerPack tab and we will enable the display condition. Here you can select whether to trigger it when all condition met or only some. We are only going to create one condition so it doesn't really matter. So let's set it up. For example, this is a login link. We would like to display it to logged out users, right? So if the user is not logged in, show the login link. Now let's duplicate it and create a logout link. I will change this text to log out. Of course, you can create the link. And here under the advanced tab, I will set a different condition. If the user is logged in, then show him the log out link. And you can put it in your header or in your menu. And it's only going to show if the conditions 
were met. So let's test it. Right now we are logged in and it's showing us the logout link, which is great. Let's go from an incognito window to the same website and now we are logged out. So it's showing us the login link. All right, the next extension is the wrapper link and that's also a very cool extension. It will allow you to wrap full elements in a link. Let's take this text editor for example. When we use the text editor, we can mark or highlight a word and create a link within this paragraph. However, with a wrapper link, you can link the element as a whole. So under the advanced tab, we'll enable the wrapper link and here we'll set a link that we will be navigated to once we clicked on the element. So for example, google.com. I will change the setting to open it in a new window. And now once I updated it, it doesn't matter where or, or which part of the element I click on, it will take me to the link I entered, just like so. And the last extension of the light version is the animated gradient background, which I'm sure many of you would like. I have this section here, for example, and we'll go into the style tab of the section. And here we have the new feature called power pack background. This one will allow you to have a few different colors that will rotate between all of them. So for example, the default version comes with three colors, orange, pink, and bluish. We can change it, of course, or add as many colors as we would like. For example, let's change this orange one to a bluish, and we can see how all the colors mix together in a very pretty way. When you would like to update to the pro version, you can do it from the official website. You have the links in the description. It will cost you minimum $49 or $89 if you would like to have the WooCommerce widgets as well. However, you can get the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. And of course, it's including the WooCommerce widgets as well. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, just go to plugins for WP search for power pack and install it from here by clicking on install and then on activate once you activated the pro version you will have way more widgets extensions and features that you can use let's check some of them out first let's go to elementor and into power pack and here we can see the full list of all the widgets free and pro we have many widgets over here over 70. Uh, you can also refresh your Elementor page and instead of seeing this lock, as you can see right now, you will be able to access and use all the widgets because you won't have the lock anymore. So that's one of the biggest advantages of the Pro version. You will have all the 70 widgets. A nice Pro widget can be the recipe. It's very useful for uh, food blogs. And of course, the recipes include structured data and that will help you rank higher on Google. And just like the free version, the pro version also comes with many extensions. Right now we have eight, but they will add more in the future. And one extension that I would like to show you in particular, that's the tooltip. And the tooltip extension became very popular lately, especially in pricing tables. Let me show you an example. We'll go to aweber.com. You can see the tooltip is whenever you're hovering over one of the features, it will show you a hidden text. It's providing you an additional information that you didn't want to enter to take valuable space. So you can create it inside a tooltip instead, which is very useful. So let's do it ourselves. We'll go back to our website and drag the text editor once again to the right side and here under the advanced tab we will change the element width to inline because we would like to leave some space on the right side to put the tooltip over there now let's move on to the power pack tab and enable the tooltip and right now by default the tooltip will be above the element and we can change it over here to the right side just like so and we can see the element over here excellent now we can enter our custom content. For example, custom content. Not very creative, I know, but it's okay. 
and we can see the custom content over here. If we'd like to change the colors, just move on to the style tab and here we can change the background color, the text color, etc. Once you change the colors, make sure to hover on it once again just to see what it looks like. Another great feature of the Pro version is the login register pages. Uh, by default, if you'd like to log in to your website, you'll need to enter the WordPress default link, which is wp-admin. It's not very secure and I recommend you to change it and this plugin will allow you to do that. Here you can set a dedicated login page. So for example, if we have a login form inside our fitness page and trying to log in to the default link won't work. It will redirect us to the fitness page, which is the page we chose. Alright guys, so that was just the tip of the iceberg about this plugin. It can do so many more things and it will definitely take your website and your Elementor page builder to the next level. I recommend you to use it or at least give it a try. You'll love it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.